Hi, welcome to the Game Audio Hour podcast. We're here live at GDC 2019. I'm here with the Krotos team, Orphis and Matt. How are you guys doing today? Splendid, thank you. Great, great. We're in a nice little room here. It's Thursday, March 20th, correct? 21st, yeah. So Igniter has just come out. It is got this robust car samples, sci-fi engines, all these type of things. You guys do great stuff with Weaponizer, Reformer, Dehumanizer 1 and 2, and now you've launched this behemoth sample library type of thing. My first question for you is, what are some of the challenges that you had while you were creating Igniter? Vehicle sound design is quite complex, as you know. So the challenge is to kind of simplify the workflow and make something that is easy to use, but it's also flexible and it sounds uh, as natural as possible, as organic. Um, so we had to build this massive system that includes a lot of different techniques that professionals use, but uh, allow them maximum customization as well. And the challenge from the, that was the challenge, the technical side, and also finding libraries and samples that we thought that would work best and give users a big variation of content that they can, they can use. From the technical side, yeah, there's obviously a, a bunch of challenges in pulling the whole thing off. Uh, I mean, you yourself mentioned the word behemoth, which is exactly the phrase I use as well for uh, Igniter in particular. It's really an enormous, enormous plugin. I think it's the biggest thing we've ever ever made. It's incredibly powerful and flexible. Like all our products, we really focus on workflow in particular. So the workflow for Igniter is actually really unique and really smooth. But pulling that off was was also really challenging. And just you know, making sure that everything was going to be really great and quick and fast for everyone to use. Uh, I think that's really the priority for people these days. One of the priorities definitely is just, you know, everyone's under a lot of pressure in terms of time and budget and, and scope. So anything that we can do to help people with that is, is really important. And uh, feedback been so far has been that people are really enthusiastic about it, which is great. Excellent. You guys mentioned about techniques and challenges that were going along with, you know, doing the design. Was it in production while weaponizer was in production and i only asked this question because i noticed that there's some things that kind of borrowed in terms of the the user interface in that regard was that an inspiration to kind of get things thrown or how far planned out was this it wasn't in production at the same time but the workflow and weaponizer has been really successful and people responded to it really well so we wanted to sort of uh, replicate that in some ways or have some sort of shared dna between them um, and that's also been something people responded to really well especially people familiar with weaponizer it would be like, okay, I, I just got to grips with it immediately because I understood the same workflow as Weaponizer, with, you know, sort of engine tabs on one side, the browser, and then control stuff and mixer on the right. So yeah, I think, you know, we did, we did well with Weaponizer with that um, interface. So it, it made sense to try and have the same workflow and pe people seem to have liked that, you know. But yeah, it was a, it's a long project. That was, a, it was another like year, year or more, I think, working on this thing in one way or another. Without getting into any type of industry secrets or whatnot. Can you guys generally talk about what's underneath the hood, how things kind of work in terms of like, even if you want to use metaphors or such like that, we're going to start with uh, you office on this one. Um, so Igniter has um, four different engines. It has a granular engine, which allows you to kind of perform pre-recorded, uh, analyze and perform pre-recorded engine sounds. Um, so we've done a lot of work into kind of pre-analyzing samples and make sure that uh, they sound really good and natural when you can, so you can perform them within the plugin. It has a loop engine, which allows you to kind of uh, have different loops and uh, cross-phase between different behaviors of, of the engine. Uh, we have a one-shot system that kind of allows you to trigger different sounds at different sections. So if you want to skid or you know, different behaviors and you can have it so you know, when you go in one direction, you hear the sound. When you go backwards, you hear different sounds. So you can create li really a model of a vehicle. So then when you have uh, a game or a film, it's very flexible to kind of change the, the sounds to create something that's very dynamic. And what we also have a synth engine that has a lot of, um, you know, it's FM synth with AM as well. So it's a very flexible with different waveforms as well. You can choose and you can also import your own kind of uh, sounds in there and, uh, create a very, very custom vehicle uh, sound effect. But if you don't have time, it has thousands of sound effects that you can choose from and, and, and recordings from the top professionals in, in the industry. Yeah, I mean, I can't go into too much detail about what the technicality of what's going under the hood, but uh, yeah, we've uh, come up with quite a lot of interesting sort of tips and tricks, particularly on the granular side, to 
get the best response out of a, a really large range of vehicles. Um, so something that uh, people encounter using um, granular synthesis stuff is that it tends to work really, really well with certain types of vehicles, but less so with others. So we've managed to get around a lot of those problems and that So Igniter contains both really high-end sports cars, but also very ordinary vehicles, but then also things that you generally wouldn't find implemented with granular synthesis, like huge 18-wheeler haulage trucks and tractors and really rickety things, as well as really you know smooth-sounding vehicles. There's a bunch of talk tricks that we came up with on the analysis side and the authoring side to be able to account for that type of content, which is really cool. Um, and that's also really useful as you sort of take over the system to middleware, which is another thing that we're sort of starting to demo this week. Excellent. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of inspiration and time has definitely gone into this. And you obviously have mentioned that you're pulling from like sample libraries from other professionals. I happen to know that one of the best car enthusiasts for car sounds is Watson Wu. And did you work with him? And what other audio Foley professionals and sound designers were you working with to pull this whole thing together? Yeah, so we worked with Watson. It's great. Uh, his recordings are excellent. He provided a handful of the vehicles that are in Igniter. And we also worked with a number of other um, recordists, so uh, Sounding Suite in uh, the UK, uh, really fantastic stuff on the, the sports car stuff. They did an incredible job with that. George Vlad as well was providing some of the yeah, some of the more unusual stuff. So for instance, like the tractor, the 18 wheeler, stuff like that, that came from George. Amazing recordings as well. And we also worked with uh, Frank Bry, the recordist, on uh, planes and helicopters and also his uh, tire collection as well. It comes part of Igniter so that you can add those extra sort of sweetener layers as well. Um, particularly with the, the full tank version of Igniter. So what we did with all those recordists, we got those multi-track sessions from them, and then we went through them to select sections of those recordings that work really, really well with the tool. Um, but we kind of felt that after using all those sessions and having all that incredible content that we wanted to also provide that to users. So if they want to go like beyond our own library, they can do so. So full tank, the full tank version of Igniter includes like all those original sessions from those guys and all the original libraries. So that's like 75 gig of engine stuff, which is absolutely enormous, plus the plugin, which is, I think, an amazing thing for people working in vehicle stuff. So they, have, they can combine the existing workflow and Igniter in a really, really powerful way. Let's see. Uh, can you speak about how big the design team actually was for this project? Was, was it split or was, it, or was everyone all in? What's up? You offer uh, yeah, so I mean, the company, we are 11 people now. On Igniter, um, we started from building the, the, the granular engine uh, initially because that was kind of the first step um, because it's quite complicated, technically challenging. Um, so we started with that. So we had one full-time person working on this for a few months initially, and then the rest of the team started working on, on the VST plugin. And yeah, pretty much everyone uh, and the team worked on this um, more or less. So, you know, we start usually the development team starts with building the engine, then we build the, the UI. Um, we work with freelancer UX designers as well. When the, when the product is into like work commercial kind of, it, it looks good. We also involve beta testers. So we send out to people to give us feedback. So we involve also external professionals that are experts in the field. And then the marketing team also, you know, starts preparing the material and all that. So it was really a team effort and it's been like a lot of people work on that project. Wow, 11 people doing all of that groundwork. That's incredible. That is really, really impressive. Uh, my next question for you is, you guys seem to find a trend in a, a niche in the market. Like you guys are really, really good at that. My last question for you right now is what's next? What are you guys, if you can talk about it, what are you guys thinking that you're going to tackle and bring to the, you know, the audio community for them to get those projects done? Yeah, so what we've done is we, we also released recently the Sound Design Bundle 2, which includes kind of all of our products in one, which allows you to also kind of combine the products to create sound for like a big range of things. So yeah, we, we, we make niche things, but also we combine them together so you can use them and they complement each other. So the next step is also what we're looking at is we are interested in a new kind of media, for example, augmented reality and virtual reality and things like that. And particularly the reformer technology is very interesting for us in terms of how it can be used in real time to manipulate sounds and also transform existing sounds or drives a sound from data or even audio input. So for example, for virtual reality and augmented reality, especially for augmented reality, if you interact with a, with a virtual object, but you have uh, something from the real world, then how do you create these sounds? So uh, with Reformer, you can do kind of procedural sample-based audio, 
which allows you to create very dynamic sounds in real time. So this is something we, we are uh, working on to improve as well. And we already have a version of Reformer that works in WISE, so that's the first step as well. The other thing that we're working on is uh, kind of finalizing the middleware version of Igniter, which it's pretty much, uh, pretty much there, it's almost ready, so we've already have people uh, testing it, and uh, it's going to be used in a few projects very soon. So uh, yeah, it's a very, very powerful real-time uh, engine system that combines pretty much anything you need to create any kind of vehicle from helicopters to you know planes to uh, cars to sci-fi vehicles so it has a synth engine a loop, a loop engine a granular engine you can combine all those together to make a very complex vehicle be behavior and runtime that's so great i'm thoroughly excited about you guys putting it into wise and having that being integrated it just extends the workflow so much faster and makes it so much more efficient and if that just if it's working as copacetic as it is on the standalone the VSD, it's gonna be amazing. It's GDC week. We got a lot of people here. So I've just been handing the card by office. It's 30% off, you listeners out there. All Krotos sound design tools. The discount code is Krotos GDC30. Again, that's Krotos GDC30. Go to the store. It's www.krotosaudio.com. It's available until March 31st, 2019. Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate your time today. And we will see you next year, probably, with the new stuff that you always keep hitting back every year. Last last GDC was Weaponizer. <laughs> yes. Uh, so <laughs> I was speaking to someone about this the other day, and they were like, how did you manage to make another enormous product in a year? And then, uh, then uh, cause at the, yeah, because at the time when you're doing it, you're like, oh, my God, yeah, you know, just going to keep doing it. There's a lot of stuff to fix. And then you forget, like, how enormous all these products are. And then we, you know, we roll one or more out a year. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, we work hard at these things. And, yeah, definitely we'll have something else to show you guys this time next year. So, yeah, it's exciting. That warms my heart so much. Office, Matt, thank you so, so much for speaking with me today. We greatly appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you.